So Kaylin went from zero to leveled up right there. <laughs> the four flash bomb traps and the one pop cap. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Caitlyn Heimer. That's right. We played Victor Heimer yesterday when 5-0. It was awesome. Definitely recommend checking out that deck. We have a different Heimer deck though here with Caitlyn. Now this is a deck that, uh, you know, it's a viewer submitted deck that is kind of similar to Teemo Caitlyn, but what the person that was playing it was finding that um, the Teemo wasn't as impactful as they would hope it would be, especially in the later game. And so decided to switch from Teemo to Heimerdinger, where Heimerdinger will give you a lot of power with all the fleeting turrets and stuff in the late game. So I'm pretty excited about it because this is definitely something different. You know, we'll have, um, you know, like our, our puff cap stuff with the puff cap peddler. We're going to have insider knowledge, hex core foundry, you know, that kind of stuff, trying to give them the flash bomb trap still, as well as the puff caps and have them draw a lot of cards, three copies of Karina. But combining that kind of deck and just putting Heimerdinger in it. I, I haven't seen anything like this before, so I think it could be pretty cool to see. Um, we got some Death Rays in here for early removal that work really well whenever you're able to draw more cards. So it works really well with like the Hex Core Foundries because uh, they do go back on top of your deck, so they do kind of take up your draws. Uh, but then we'll have Twin Disciplines to help protect Caitlyn and Heimer and Puff Cat Peddler, and we'll be able to make more Puff Cat Peddlers with Iterative Improvement or even more Karina Mastermind, like that could be really cool too with the Iterative Improvement, or even Sting Officer, getting additional one of those. So we got some options there. And then just some some other uh, little bits of removal here and there. Also, one copy of Dragon's Rage. This is a spicy one. So this with Caitlyn says, you know, it strikes both the uh, unit, the enemy unit, and the enemy Nexus. So that's two strikes. Sorry for Caitlyn for uh, planting those flash bomb traps. And then, of course, um, if you have leveled up Caitlyn, you know, it, and how it strikes, it deals Nexus damage, equal number, number of traps, you can get a ton. Like, you just do, like, 20 damage with a leveled up Caitlyn, and if they've gotten a good amount of traps already this game. And then Dragon's Rage. I don't know. That seems like a cool spicy one up, so I like it. All right, so let's get to it. Let's try some Caitlyn Heimer. This will be different. That's what I like to do. I like to play things that are different. All right, we got Draven Scion as our first matchup. They're going to be fairly aggressive. Okay, so against our aggro matchup, we're going to need to send this back. I actually kind of like Nopify. Um, but I, you know, to counter, get excited. Let's keep it. No, I didn't equip the pool party Heimer with this kind of being like PNZ. We, we could if you want. With, you know, this being like all PNZ. It's kind of going with OG Heimer, but I can always go back and after this game equip pool party Heimer if you would prefer. I really want to play one of the threes, but I want to be able to have protection for the threes. And yeah, I kind of feel like they were like holding on Get Excited. So I want to see like if they would play something. Yep, they were definitely holding up there. Get Excited. Bottom the trail. Axes coming right up. Maybe I should have done Peddler. So we got more puff caps with the peddler. Okay, so I could nopify, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and double whirling or double mystic shot this thing. I think we're just gonna go that route, and I'm gonna save twin discipline, save nopify. That gets rid of two dravens. This draven will fizzle. That draven's dead. Draven out. And we get two flash bomb traps. Hopefully, they get one right there. Oh, they didn't get one. <laughs> that would have been great if they, if they would have got one. Uh, the peddler. A little fella asking for me. 
I want to play that before casting any spells. Oh, I guess I should have attacked. I didn't think they would be able to stop it, but I guess they have sentry. I normally play sentry. Man. That really didn't work out very well. They grow up so fast. I don't know if my 2-2 two -two should be attacking in, because they they should block the 3-1. And then, you know, that hurts my flash bomb traps if they do that. I kind of want to play the Karina. It's, you know, it's either Karina or, like, Foundry plus Peacemaker. The thing is, if, if I'm going, like, Foundry plus Peacemaker, I don't really like my, my blocks too much. Yeah, I got a Dragon's Rage to go along with Gatelyn. I'm pretty excited about that one. Wow, no attacks. That is very good for us. One step ahead. So that's a pretty big bummer. So we can save one of our two cards. I think we save Caitlyn. Fourteen puff caps right now. I just don't know how we really stop Scion if they do have Scion. They're a long ways away from leveling up Scion, that's the good news. Closing in on the mark. No backup needed. So Caitlyn went from zero to leveled up right there. <laughs> the four flash bomb traps and the one puff cap. Found the flash ball traps. Alright, probably just gonna need to kill that. All according to plan. They're a pretty removal heavy deck. Okay. I guess we're going to go. I have 13 puff caps right now. 6, 7, 8, 9. I kind of want to just go chump lump, clump of lumps, and give them 15 more puff caps. Yeah. I got ways to find me mushroom. I think that's the play. No, I haven't tried Lady of the Blood yet. No, we haven't had any any meme decks with Lady of Blood yet. So I have 28 puff caps to go with 24 cards. They're just passing to me. I wonder if I should just always just take passes. Because the more we pass, the better for me. Um... I don't know. I got good stuff to be playing. Yeah, that's the thing. They can just play these decimates now. Oh, Alright, we're gonna activate. Found me. Should be at least five pup caps. Yeah, seven, and then maybe a flash bomb or two. 
Not bad, not bad. Alright, there we go. It kind of worked. <laughs> Caitlyn. Puff caps. With Heimer. Heimer didn't do too much, but it worked. Yeah, there's no question that Will of Ionia would be good in the deck. It's just... You know, you only have 40 spots for cards. The curve's already kind of high. Do, do we want to play another... Uh, uh, four mana card? Alright, Tarek, Poppy. I'm going to keep this, but... We need to, you know, like, we need to find, like, Caitlyn. Or some kind of units early. Okay. Bless the people and see the heretics. So they passed and weren't planning on playing that until I played a 2 2, and then they were going to play it. What does that mean? Does that mean they really wanted their other... No mercy for heretics. That third spell mana or something? Hmm. around here somewhere I got ways to find me mushroom <laughs> I, uh, I guess we're going to indiscipline these It's a great start for us, you know, not having anything on round three to do. It's kind of strange for our deck. I smell a rat. Tough places bring tough people. Give me chase. Please don't have another sharp sight. All right, good. He's coming. I did not have another sharp sight. That's good. I kind of want to play the thermogenic beam on the. 3, 2, but no, that probably doesn't make too much sense. We'll just pass. I've got your back. Oh, they found me. Alright, 5 five's is a good blocker. Yeah, Dragon's Rage interacting with Caitlyn. Dragon's Rage does mean two strikes. You strike the enemy and you strike the enemy Nexus. And so you get two of these strikes. And so whenever you have leveled up Caitlyn, you get two of these strikes. You get eight flash bombs. Then you do Nexus damage twice. You know, one for each strike. So it would combine together. Do a lot of Nexus damage. Atreus! Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Our first of the day. So we only have two cards that we don't know about. From the Undercity ship, Detective Zane? It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. Yeah, these gems are pretty nice against my flash bomb traps. Here's my calling card. Well, I wouldn't just cast this mushroom cloud right now. Protect and strike. Let's talk this out. Right, 
Let's have all the combat tricks. I don't know. Maybe I should just save that spell mana for, like, insider knowledge and stuff. I probably should. So Alright, come on. We need some luck. Flash bombs. Blow them up. Two. One each. Yeah. There we go. Oh, man. I wish I would have saved that spell mana. Beauty and life. Then I would have been able to have Mystic Shot also. Each life a rare jewel. Dazzling. I am really surprised they're attacking here, letting my Caitlyn strike again. We do two more damage to them. Now they're down to one. I don't know why they make that attack right there. But yeah, our flash bombs just took over. <laughs> so many flash bombs. All right. That was awesome. So, question is, why does Dragon's Rage have two strikes? Caitlyn doesn't have Oberon because Caitlyn says that it's it strikes both the or sorry sorry Dragon's Rage Dragon's Rage says that it strikes both the enemy and the en enemy Nexus. I like agree. If you read Dragon's Rage, it says it strikes both, so that's why it gets two strikes. Scion Viego. I don't know. I'll, I'll let all those things go back, but okay. Looks like we're going to be a Hexcore Foundry deck this game. Tough places bring tough people. Give me chase. I didn't want to have this get Vile Feast, so I was going to just pass and you know, have Nobify to protect. Could talk. Yep, I I even thought about that. I thought about waiting for the notify and not playing anything this round. I should have, because I kind of need that card. Yeah, that was, so that was a bad play by me. Yeah, bad play by me. Okay, well, we got another one. Please. Let them just draw two. Normally, I don't mind people drawing cards too much against me. I guess so. And these flash bombs are nowhere to be found. So I wanted to see it, because if, if a flash bomb would have hit one of these mist rates right there, then I would have, you know, wanted to kill that up the mist rate with the one extra damage. Alright, but now we got the MK2, so that can kill the mist rates, so that's good. I need that to do the damage to the Viego. Keeping pace. So I was planning on copying this Sting Officer, but now I'll probably copy Karina next round. I have some 
something very special planned. Diego's still pretty good. Still pretty good. Doing a terrible job killing Viego. Terrible job. Yeah, congratulations, Bonnet. I can't kill any. I can't block any of these things and kill them because then Viego levels up. Only have five flash bombs left. There they go. All right, Viego will still dominate if you got Viego on five and. Those kind of cards. Okay, so are we going to be able to stabilize against the Lulu Poppy deck? This would be a good test. This is, you know, the one of the most popular things to be doing right now. Let's send both of those back. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you, Beecher. I says I'm surprised we don't have more Viego in the meta. I, I agree. For how good that card is, I'm, I'm surprised that you don't play against it more. You made a Zoe Gangplank deck. You're six and two with so far. Very nice, good job. Okay, so far so good. Looks like we're on Heimer path right now. All right, so I think that card's probably Pokey Stick. That'd be my guess. I can't kill Poppy even if. Oh, I just attack. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Card's messed up. I got ways to find me mushrooms. That's the Pokey Stick. They're playing it now before they get more puff caps. Let's go! Grab my hat! Comb my mustache! Alright, definitely gotta kill that thing right away. Retreating bravely! You're playing three harpoon, three make it rain. And your Zoe Gangplank, I like it. Oh, that's a harvest right there. We should just be waiting on that, see if we draw a peddler. It is just five puff caps. We should be waiting on that. They're going to have a lot more cards than us. So both players draw two. Yeah, they're already going to have a full hand anyway. It isn't that big of a deal. There's a foundry. 
Caitlyn and Puffcat Peddler are our two best cards. Where the deck is built around. We really want to see those two cards. Sure. So again, they have infinite cards anyway, so them drawing more cards isn't that big a deal. So that one is going to be a problem. All right, so we're going to play Heimer. Yeah, we're going to get Heimer and play. Answers. I have them. This makes a 4-2. Oh, They're going to be burning the second card, because they have, this is going to be card number 10. And so I think that... Cool. Burn a poppy. Me? Miss? Not by a long shot. That's rude. Some blocker timer. All right, so that's their third buster shot. So they're probably out of buster shots. Wow. So using a ravenous block just so I don't get a 2-1. Or I guess a 3-1. We're going to try to go on the Sting Officer Offensive. That's a new plan. Try to get them some flash bombs. Never let my guard down. Not say this plan is going too well so far, but it's still early. Never let my guard down. You best believe I don't play. Don't those fools know I own this city? Oh, yeah, because it went from 5 to 7 because of House Spider. I didn't realize that. That, yeah, House Spider does count as two regions. I thought there was something weird that just happened there. But, yeah, it counts as Noxus and Shadow Isles. I never... I didn't really notice that. But, yeah, I guess that's how that is. I would think that we'd still, like, I would feel pretty good about winning this if it wasn't for, you know, the Bandle Tree win con. We were just really slow with no Caitlyn, no, no Peddler. Right, like, those are the two most important cards for us to see are Caitlyn and Peddler. We didn't have either. Don't fear the dark. 
really the big problem, and then the big problem was they had all of the removal. You know, they had all three buster shots. So I didn't have the things I needed, and they had every single buster shot, and then the vandal tree. It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Pops, in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. So I guess they just got the 10th one now. Unfortunately, we don't have any Aftershocks. If we had Aftershock... Show me the file. I think we, we probably... Like, honestly, we win this game if it wasn't for Bandle Tree. I'm not really worried about, like, them attacking and killing me. But we don't have any landmark destruction. So if they have 10 puff caps in the top 5 cards... Because they only have 14 cards left. Close. Headquarters will hear of this. I honestly, I honestly don't have a problem with any, with a, definitely not with aloof and bandal tree. I really don't have any. I don't really have any problem with bandal tree. I don't at all. I, th I think it's kind of a, a neat little unique thing for uh, the bandal city region. I think it's pretty neat. All right, so we got our, our two main cards that we need, Caitlyn and Peddler. That's good. We'll keep the Thermogenic Beam also. Yeah, we got the donation deck. I did see that. All right, get rid of Tracker. Tracker is an important card to get rid of. Oh man, if we can Dragon's Rage later on, like this Caitlyn, I will be so happy. Well, what have we here? I sure hope we can. I hope they. I really don't want to see Riven, right? Because Riven's a three-four, and that just kind of messes things up. I guess I'd have to like if I if they play Riven, I attack. I would have to do Twin Disciplines plus three plus zero because of Sharp Sight, but then they get single combat. Just don't. All right, good. As I say, it doesn't seem like they're going to be playing Riven. Mini Morph I don't love. I don't I don't love Mini Morph, but um Yeah, I don't I don't love that card or design. I think a loop and bandle tree are just fine. Just take it, it's just five. I use Mystic Shot there, then they Sharp Sight, now I'm taking two more damage. Notify Patrol to close in on this location. We'll prepare them a nice welcome. Alright, so they lose out on five mana. I really hope they don't have single combat. They haven't really shown to have single combat. There they go. Is that one of Dragon's Rage? I know it's not leveled up, Caitlyn Dragon's Raging, but it's still really cool. We'd strike both, so we'll strike the Nexus for six. Yeah. Strike Jenny for six. Strike the Nexus for six. Protect and then we give them four puff caps. Or four flash bombs, sorry, that's what I meant. Four flash bombs. Man, they still drew zero. Scoping the area. Alright, I, I really should attack with everything here. To serve the greater good. Right. 
Arena? What brings you here? Business and pleasure, sir. There's three pop caps. Cool. And we get the Caitlyn level up animation on our way out of the game. All right, that will do. Three and two. It was a different version of Caitlyn Heimer. You know, just a different version of a Caitlyn deck. I was definitely impressed with... Uh, I was really impressed with Sting Officer, Caitlyn, Puffcat Peddler, Karina. Karina in particular. Man, Karina was awesome for us. Just the 5-5 five, five body was really important for stabilizing. And then getting the, the five traps right in the top five cards, right? Not in the top ten. I was really impressed with this card. So those four cards were all really good. Even Sting, Sting Officer looked really good. I liked playing Sting Officer with protection. And, you know, Caitlyn and, and Peddler with protection. You know, being able to play Twin Disciplines with all of those cards. That was really nice. So that part of our deck was awesome. Heimer really wasn't necessary, right? We only had Heimer, like, the one game that we lost to the Bandle Tree. And didn't really feel like we were too much of a Heimer deck. Also didn't love the insider knowledge. You know, like, I th kind of felt like, like the foundries were enough. And the insider knowledge just kind of gave us more cards that, like it just kind of sat in our hand while we were doing everything else because we were trying to stabilize the board and everything so it just kind of felt like it just sat in our hand and maybe we didn't really need it too much i don't know what other if we don't want to play teemo i don't really know what other champion you would play here besides heimer you know maybe vi i guess vi vi does a really good job of stabilizing the board it'd probably be vi yeah i could see i could see vi over heimer yeah, as like champion removal and a great blocker and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I think the I think the important thing is the important thing with this deck is Caitlyn and Peddler and Sting Officer and Karina. Those those all look good, and then protecting Caitlyn. Um, and it's like twin disciplines. Nobify, Nobify was really strong. Also, like it, there was a lot of spells that we wanted to Nobify. I liked to Nobify a lot. So the combination of Nobify and twin disciplines, I liked quite a bit. Um. Aftershock wouldn't be bad, fitting in some landmark removal, but that's hard, you know, it's hard to do. It's hard to put more expensive cards in here. The Dragon's Rage was awesome. We got to Dragon's Rage twice. It was really cool. I could see playing, like, Eye of the Dragon and maybe trying, like, Eye of the Dragon with, like, these different spells. Um, and I know Insider Knowledge, you want, like, your opponent to draw two with the Puff Caps really late game, but usually by the time that that really works, you're kind of winning the game anyway. Right, and so I, I feel like maybe Insider Knowledge being Deep Meditation, or maybe this is where you fit more removal in, would just be better, and just kind of rely on the Foundries for that extra card draw. I think that's that would probably be better. All right, but there we go. That's going to be Caitlin Heimer. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of this different version of a Caitlyn deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, but that's it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.